talked about it. Mariner to have a 2020 campaign was Mike Cameron, and that was 20 years Look ago. Out. Look out. The 0 2, and a ground ball foul, third base side. Off the end of the bat, this isn't hit very hard, and it might fall. No, sir. Audrey of the fact that Zach Plesak hasn't had the, the best fortune or having things go his way much of the year. But the thing we always talk about, sometimes it's thrown away around as and thought of as cliche, but it's very true. The ball game, it's all oh, no, not again. Mm -hmm. You just start thinking negative thoughts. Now the one two. And Winker fouls that off to change up. Struck him out. Two down. That's her. Boy, that's a perfect pitch. It split them. Limited to just 27 games this year because of a high ankle sprain on that right ankle. Line up up so well when they insert him right back into the number three hole. He's been on a roll here for the last 21 games. But police that could have a one two three inning. Josh Naylor State. <laughs> you know it's crazy to see the Cincinnati Reds because they're right across the parking lot and we play them every year in the regular season and I'm looking at the lineup and it's like huh. this is you're right. Yeah they made that trade to acquire Winker and with him, and he's put together a nice year. He has batting average 23. Up. Yeah, the batting average is up 23 homers, seven. Be done with him next year, unless yeah. we see him in October this year. Well, there's a chance oh, that look could at happen. You. Look, but I mean, we've gone all year and not see him. And uh oh, that's not coming back. Like that. that was ugly. Yeah. Looked like a Darth Vader helmet, didn't it? But not the right color. I've learned not to ask at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Ty France, like Andres, he met well, this year. And you, you wonder why he was off to a great start this year, especially driving runners in in scoring position. The first against the New York Yankees. And that is one of those numbers. That's one of those milestones that, again, puts the greatness consistent. How steady he's, he's halfway to 3,000. Oh, yeah. Okay, to get the three. The 2 1. Fouled back. Nice career carved out. Do we all do. <laughs> 2 2 curveball, and it was a beauty. Adam Frazier pops one up foul ground. Jose is there. And the inning is innings. He made one mistake last inning. That let off. And that breaking ball is. Now you have him down the middle of the line or down the bottom. Changes the strength of this lineup big time. That's fouled back into the seats. Ford won that gold glove in 2020. And a changeup couldn't get him to chase. And the payoff pitch. We'll And he's down swinging. Third strike. All right, thanks, Al. That's good news. Jerry DePoto went out and traded for. Here's the one two off the plate.
Ground ball to third. Jose Ramirez throws it across two away. So they made a nice running catch. Perfect pitch outside. That is high. It is deep. And it is gone. For Rodriguez, that's his 21st. Fastball in off the plate to Jesse Winker. Has a hit in each of his last four games. Right back to Plesak. This will end the inning. Two solos. Look. Ground ball off the bat of Mitch Hanniger. One pitch. One out here in the bottom of the foot what, what I I guess our point was when you look at those three teams We've seen them all Seattle mm -hmm. Toronto and their pitching is not too shabby yeah. and they can hit the long ball Right at Quan two down so <laughs> Oh my arch I, I hate admitting when I'm wrong and you're right But you said something a couple weeks ago about the AL Central in the, in the wild 38 games left. Mm-hmm. I mean 85 maybe 86 wins could win this ready by the way, Al told us the White Sox lost, Minnesota losing two to nothing. Two outs. They're in the ninth inning. Yeah, in San Francisco. Two outs and two, two on. on. Yeah. O2 offering missed up high. Got infected. Oh, I thought he was giving Booney a heart attack the way he was pitching. <laughs> That's a called third strike fastball. Ty France not happy. He paying attention. I'm guessing either he or somebody else went and looked at the video because I could read his lips. You say. Carlos Santana fouls one back out of play. It's 0 and 2. The same page tonight. Maley was the catcher last time he caught him was uh, August 11th in Detroit and it was a good start. And they worked out together and you know pitches he said is this time of the year. It's nothing wrong with getting a couple days off. Yeah right. And they didn't want to mess up the other four bounced around. He understands the psyche of what a pitcher goes through. He sure does. He does a great job. Police act strikes up you know started hitters out more with a curveball than he normally right. does. But I like it. He's been pretty firm to the plate, and Suarez didn't miss it. But he's been very sharp tonight. And it seems like his pace is a little quicker to me, Andre, to be honest with you. Crawford struck out his only time up in the third. Looks at a fastball in the dirt. Good inning. They go one, two, three, and at seven, Kurt Casale, the Number nine hitter for Seattle. That's a nice little break. Isn't it amazing that Castillo is what did he had 113 100, yeah. pitches and here's the and what do you have 40 some mm -hmm. pitches he only threw 10 balls at one point in time in this game. He ended up with 10 strikeouts though again the offense can't uh, propel him he's got to go. They're going to bring that jersey out like you said. Uh, right they, they, you tell Carl maybe Carl will do it. I think Carl's willing to try about anything right now. Yeah, right, exactly. A change up that just got over. It wasn't. Fly ball left center field. Stephen Kwan makes the catch one away. He worked out in the offseason down in Tampa with Carlos Santana and Ahmed Rosario. When I saw Ahmed did that, um, he said his maturity, he's willing to work hard, he listens. He thought he was should have been in the big. And he's. Uh, He's having a year like a, a, a veteran would have. 2020 already. And he's missing. Stays fair behind the bag. Ramirez with a perfect. Wade. Very patient hitter. Yeah, way different ballparks to hit in for your home. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Steven Kwan runs it down. Seattle Mariners in a row. And as Rick told you, uh, Zach has been very good tonight. Round ball to third. Jose with a 
Routine play. Throws out Mitch Hanniger. One. Matt, I thought you made a great point about the festivities before the game. Game in this yeah. series. I mean, it's been a well pitched series. It's a great. Into the Mariners Hall of Fame prior to the game. A very well done ceremony. Minnesota a couple years ago with Tony. High pop. And this going to be. Here right. that, that was that? Yeah, he had blonde and, <laughs> and brunette. I'll say this for Suarez, though. Maybe yeah. he's one of those guys all or nothing, but. If you're taking those walks, it certainly helps. He's got a good eye at the plate. They've been uh, very good. Look at that. Strike Gotti. three called. I Beautiful. don't know what he was looking for, but that no, he's, he's not going to throw me a fastball. Right, Boom. he Boom. just did. Yes, he did. Here's another Jerry Depoto trade acquisition. Lamb came from the Dodgers. Kind of a veteran role player. Hit in the air, deep right field, and she is gone. Yesterday, three to two, and we're at three to one again. All in favor of Seattle. Going to be a long throw. And he got him. What?